The Secret of the Silver Key. Hey, warrior friends. In our last chapter about Fribble, um, Fribble had gone to the library to look for facts and information about an air mail uh, stamp and mail that had been delivered by balloon. He ended up looking at a nonfiction book and used the index to help him find specific topics that he was interested in. So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about an index. An index is something that we find in typically nonfiction books. Occasionally, occasionally you will find an index in a fiction story, but most of the time we find them in our nonfiction books. An index is typically found at the back of the book. It's usually the last page in the book. And an index is a list of all the topics that are in that particular book and what page you can find each topic on. So let's take a look at an actual book and see if we can find the index in this book. Today I have with me a nonfiction book that's going to give me facts and information about hamsters. To find the index, we need to go clear to the back of the book and on the very last page, this is our end pages there, the plain white, on the very last page you'll see we have our index. Now the index is going to list all the topics from this book in alphabetical order. Let's take a closer look at what our index says. Okay, here is a better look at what the index looks like. You can see a list of 10 topics. They're in alphabetical order. So starting on the left-hand side, we have ball, page 17, cage on page 16 and 19, exercise wheel, page six. All of it is listed in alphabetical order. Now, if I'm interested in finding out what I need to feed my pet hamster, I need to look on page number nine. If I'm wanting to know um, how much does my hamster need to sleep, then I can look on page 15. The nice thing about having an index is it'll allow you to find facts and information quickly. I don't have to read the whole book to find out what my hamster needs to eat. I can just look at one page, page number nine. Using the index can make it easy to find exactly what you're looking for. My index said that page number nine is going to give me facts and information about what my hamster needs to eat. So let's open up our book to page eight and page number nine. Page number eight says, Sam feeds fuzz. And then over on page number nine, it says, he gives him hamster food. He gives him vegetables. Can you tell from the picture what kind of vegetable the hamster is eating in that picture? All right, so that is how an index works. Remember, an index is always at the back of the book. Remember, an index is going to give you a list of all the topics that are in your particular book, and it's going to tell you what page to find each topic on. Using an index can make it a lot easier to find the facts and information that you need. Join me next time, and we'll find out what Fribble uses in chapter number eight.